right. All right, all right. Going to tweet out this stream real quick. And we are going to uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun today. A little bit of fun, boys. Welcome in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Join the fun. Join the fun. Sorry, let me get chat open on stream. I haven't streamed in a while, so you guys will have to give me a second to catch up on everything. Um, but I have a funny, there we go, perfect. I have a great show for you guys today, an awesome show. Um, and it's going to be the first ever Spurg Stomper, but I'm going to start in a few minutes. I'm not going to start yet. I'm going to let a couple people crawl in. For now, I'm just going to talk to the chat for maybe like two or three minutes, but you're going to want to stay tuned. Trust me, I've got a lot of fun, great content uh, lined up for you guys tonight. Um, so I just tweeted it out. I'm going to just wait a few minutes, but yeah, let me call in. I might, I might take Collins at the end when I'm done with the content. I might actually take Collins and let some people talk, but I, I, I want to do all my content first, so I'm not taking Collins just yet. But stick around. It's not going to be super long. I've got about 30 minutes to an hour of just great content lined up for you guys. But yeah, let's let some people crawl in, join in on the fun, and then we're going to go live. Or we're going to start, start the show. Uh, let's see here. Let me make sure my stuff is open. So yeah, boys and girls, welcome to Spurg Stomper. Welcome, welcome. The rise and the fall of tip. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, honestly, we have a couple people here already. I just started, but honestly, there's a lot of a lot of people here. Read our chats. Who's this cute lesbian? What's up? What's up, everybody? It's me. Um, so, <laughs> oh man, oh man, guys, oh man. All right. So the fall of Tipster, everybody. The fall of Tipster. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome in crawl in. Can you guys hear me okay? Everyone can hear me fine. Everyone can hear me fine. Um, today we're going to be talking about a humiliating tragedy, a total downfall of a grown man in his YouTube channel, channel, where he will go down in history as a sad, sad man who had just as much trouble controlling his public image as he does his penis. Someone who you might all know him in the past as a pretty chill and nice guy. He made decent content. He was sometimes a little bit spurgy, but then he planned his entire downfall and became a man who can only get complete dick sucking, ugly woman to orbit him and push all his friends and fans away. We're going to be talking about a couple things, okay? I've got a long list of, uh, of things you're going to go over. Uh, first, we're going to go over the most recent thing that's caused this whole fiasco. Um, it was just in the past 24 hours. I'm going to go over that uh, and what happened there. We're going to kind of throw it back to where it all started. Back in October, I think, is when the beginning of it was. We're going to go back there. We're going to show him uh, flirting with people on stream. Um, we have a, I have a Keemstar uh, clip involving this whole situation I'm going to show you guys. I don't think anyone's ever, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone talk about it. So I have a Keemstar clip too that I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be great. Um, we're going to talk about his YouTube channel. And uh, then we're going to talk about that uh, situation that happened, you know, a little over two weeks ago uh, with uh, that one woman who really wanted the tip really bad and went on Bobax's stream. We're going to talk about that situation just a little bit. And then I'm going to show you guys how, uh, how he doesn't speak to his wife. But we'll get into all of it. We'll get on to all of it, OK? Um, it's going to be a fun stream. And so you guys are going to want to stick around. This is Spurg Stomper 1. Welcome in. We got 40 viewers in there. Like the stream, boys. Like it up. 40 viewers in the chat. That's pretty good for me, for my first stream back. It's pretty good. So I think that's good enough to start. And uh, we will get right into the juice, OK? So let's switch over to my screen here. And we are going to talk about the most recent events, of course, that all of you have probably seen, um, which was what happened yesterday. 
Tipster privated his Twitter and made this tweet, this very, very sad, very, very sad tweet, where he says, stepping away from the net for a bit. Don't know when I'll be back, but right now my mental health is more important, and I need to focus on that more than anything. I'll be back when the time is right. In the meantime, take care and know that I love you all. See you soon. So surely, for some of you guys maybe who don't know what's going on, you might see this tweet and think, damn, something must have happened. I mean, wow. Something must really be going on with this guy. I don't know. He must have gotten, I mean, something really tragic must have happened. Well, what really caused this? What really caused this to happen to Tipster? What, what, what made him want to private his Twitter, private his Twitter account? Um, here is the tweet. And I just like to say, I was the first one to make this tweet. You can check the timestamps. I saw it first, just pointing that out. You can cope about it all you want. but. I made this tweet. He posted this with Amaranth. Amaranth made a video that said, why I'm quitting OnlyFans? And Tipster made a tweet that says, the simp's about to be wild then, lol. And if you'll notice here, right here, uh, you'll see that the video was posted one minute ago. So in under one minute, Tipster opened this, screenshotted it, and then posted it on his Twitter. Immediately, he's got the notice on for Amaranth. It's something that I don't even think anyone else pointed out is if you look right here at the bar, not only is the video one minute old, but he's also watched about a good 30 seconds of it. <laughs> he's also watched a good 30 seconds of the Amaranth video. Um, so he's actually, he saw it even faster. He saw it even faster than one minute. I mean, the man was on his ball game. He's already watched the first, the first part of the video. So I made a lighthearted little, um, little tweet you know, quote tweeting him. I was, I was just being nice. I wasn't, I wasn't shitting on him. Um, I just said, bro, screenshot of this one minute after it was posted. And then the skull emoji. Just a little lighthearted meme, you know. Nothing, nothing crazy. I was just being, just having a little bit of fun. Just poking a little bit at him, you know, poking the bear a little bit. And I wasn't the only one to do this. I think a lot of people saw my Twitter, saw Tipster's tweet or whatever, and a lot of people kind of joined in on the fun. You know, harmless. I mean, it's, not, it's funny. You guys know this is funny. People clown on me all the time for the way I look or what I say. It's funny, genuinely. I mean, you know, that's true. Optimus joined in on the fun. He said, one minute after upload Tipster with a bunch of question marks. You know, I mean, is this, it, this is not even offensive. He's not even saying anything about Tipster, just questioning. Wow, one minute after you upload, really? That's funny. And Tom, he, Tom, Turkey Tom joined in. He went a little bit harder. But, uh, you know, Turkey Tom joined in on the fun a little bit, too. Um, he said this, quote, the simps, end quote. You knew this video was out within one minute of its release. I bet you unsubscribed just to take this screenshot. You're not fooling anyone, Tipster. Which is actually funny to point out because not a, we saw that he watched 30 seconds of it while it was posted a minute ago, but he did specifically unsubscribe from the channel just to take this screenshot. I mean, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? One of his like friends sent it to his Discord, and somehow within under a second, he clicked the video and opened it and watched 30 seconds of it? I don't think so. I don't think so. So he unsubscribed from our YouTube just to make it look a little less sus. And of course, uh, Tipster completely humiliates himself, right? And this is an ironic, funny tweet that he posted the day before, where he says, there's always that one person who has to take a harmless post and turn it into something to be offended over. Yesterday, yesterday, the day, as in the day before when this happened, he tweets this. There's always that one person who has to take a harmless post and turn it into something, something to be offended over, right? And so therefore, Tipster decides it's in his best interests, going against his own word that he said literally yesterday, and unfollows Optimus. Optimus! This dude had the most innocent tweet of them all. I mean, he didn't even say anything. He didn't even say, he didn't hardly even clown on him. Optimus just said, one minute after upload, that's it. Right? That's all he said. And so Optimus tweets, Tipster posts an Amaranth video one minute after upload. I made one tweet saying one minute after upload Tipster 
and this dude deletes the tweet and unfollows me. Incredible. No follow. We'd have been relatively chill, I thought. Lamau. And dude have talked plenty over the years. Didn't think one innocent tweet would be enough to fucking unfollow someone. Lamau. Whatever, man. And I mean, that's genuinely it. Nothing else happened. All Optimus said was clown on him a little bit for the Amaranth tweet. And Tipster shit himself. And so then uh, if that was just all that was there, maybe that would be, you know, whatever. You could just kind of move on. Just be like, yeah, he's spurging. Maybe he just wants to leave. It's not a big deal, right? But this is what made me decide to go hard on him, right? Because I tweeted out about it, too. I tweeted um, simply just like the same, basically the same thing Optimus said. And then Tipster decided to take it into his own hands and not just, you know, quietly step away and unfollow everybody. But he decided to tweet this. I only have an archive, so forgive me. He said, unfollow a few people and everyone starts coping. Living rent free. Living rent free. <laughs> so Tipster completely pisses himself and unfollows everybody over a harmless meme. And yet somehow he copes himself into saying that he is living rent free in our heads because I, 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 because I guess he just said it. And not only this, he posted some cringe anime gif where, I mean, it's not animated because it's a, you know, it's a picture, but the guy is just like, like evil laughing. It's like, oh, that's so funny. Excuse me? What? <laughs> We're living rent free? Okay. So this is step number one. He tweets that, but he also tweets, you know, later after he unfollows everybody and soft blocks, he soft blocked me. Let me point something out too to you guys. He blocked everyone under 500 followers. He was blocking. He was on a blocking spree, blocking all of them immediately. Anyone over 500 followers, he just unfollowed them or soft blocked them. He, he still wanted them to see his tweets, right? He still wanted them to see his tweets. Me, he didn't block me. Augie, Optimus. I think he blocked Tom after Tom just like continued clowning on him over and over again. I think he blocked Tom. I don't know. Actually, he might not have. But after, you know, the day was over, he finally blocked people. He didn't, he didn't care to do it at first. The people who were actually clowning him over it, he didn't block them. He still wanted us to see his tweets. But anyway, so then he tweets, Twitter feed looking less cancer at the moment. Kind of wish I did this sooner. So this is another reason I don't really care about going hard on him. He unfollowed me, unfollowed everyone around me in my community who I think are cool. And he's like, wow, the cancer is gone. Finally, this is so cool. The cancer has left. <laughs> I wish I did this sooner. I wish I blocked all you cancerous people sooner. <laughs> right? So if he just innocently left, but no, he didn't do that. He decided to do this, right? So, <laughs> and he's laughing, you know, it's a little anime gif, cringe, but you know, whatever. Um, and there was a perfect meme that, uh, that pretty much summarized up this whole situation. And I saw a lot of people posting, including Tom. And it's this little gif right here. Here we see a man uh, standing in the center of a crowd where everyone is pointing and laughing at him. Everyone is humiliating him. Everyone is shitting on him. Everyone is just, uh, thinks he is a clown because he's pissing himself in front of everybody. He's pissing himself. And um, this is exactly accurate to Tipster. Then he says, heh, rent free in the next comment. Tipster pissed himself in front of the whole community and then uh, perfectly represented it, this comment exactly to a T, which is pretty impressive. Um, so that's the most recent situation. As of now, uh, I have an update on his Twitter account, which I will get to. We're about to get there. There's a bit more content I want to run through before we get to his channel. And this update happened literally within the past like 10 minutes. As I was setting up stream, the update happened. So I'm getting live updates on this situation as it's happening. 
So forgive me if my if I'm a little bit kind of bouncing back and forth. Everything is coming together right now. So <laughs> so we have a funny little example here. Um, this is I saw this meme posted forever ago. Actually, I think uh, Alex posted it, and he's in the chat right now. But I saw this meme. It's called the Tipster Cycle, right? And I think he got blocked for this when it happened, but so it's, and this is very, very accurate. So he says, say something stupid and emotional about someone. Say you're done being Mr. Nice Tip. Get upset. People call you out and critique you. Deactivate slash apologize. And then say something stupid and emotional about someone. And it's a cycle. It goes back and forth, back and forth every day, right? So. He got extremely, extremely upset that people were, you know, just, <laughs> just clowning him a little bit about, you know, the, uh, the amaranth meme, and he decided to block everybody. And so this is the tipster cycle, and this is how it is. And you know what I think is the funniest thing about this and about this tweet here in particular is looking at his profile picture here. Okay, take a look at his profile picture, right? Now, I'm not going to just the art. Honestly, it's made by Psych Draws. Psych Draws is a great artist. She did a good job on this piece. But does Tipster really think that he looks like this? Does Tipster really think that he is like, what, what is this supposed to represent? Right? I'm sure that Psych drew it exactly, exactly as Tipster requested. So n no hate to the art. The art is great. Mm -hmm. But Tipster, this doesn't look anything like you. I mean, this isn't anything like you at all. I mean, this is Tipster, right? This is what Tipster looks like, right? And now, my my profile picture, you know, isn't 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 supposed to be me. It's a character from a video game that I like, right? But if I was going to represent myself, I mean, I'd try to make it look a little bit more like me, right? But, I mean, come on. Do you think you're a badass or what? I, I mean, it's you're not. It's okay. You don't have to delude yourself. It's fine. He made so he got some art by Hopeless Peaches, which makes him look a little more, you know, chill. You should stick to that. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the badass arc is really working for you. I'm just gonna be real. Just gonna be honest. So <laughs> that's a little bit. That's that. You know, that's a little bit. You know, I mean, but that's just how I see it. That's just what I see. I just thought that when I saw the tweet. Um, anyway, so now what really started, what really started the bullying on Tipster, right? Because everyone kind of shits on him and memes on him. Do you guys know, I mean, he, he seems, from an outsider perspective, it might seem like, wow, we're just randomly just shitting on this guy. Do you guys remember the first thing that started it all, right, back in October? I, I think people were clowning him a little bit before, but the real first, like, tweet that everybody saw, that everyone was clowning on Tipster for... I mean, you guys remember it, right? It was back in October. I, excuse the shitty screenshot. I could only find it from a commentary AIDS video, so I, I couldn't find the actual tweet or screenshot of it. But where Tipster tweets at Hannah Animal, we're transitioning a little bit here. He tweets, you're not an e-girl. E you're an e-whore. And you're my e-whore, not at Omegons. <laughs> right? This is kind of what started the clownery back in October, was when he himself made this decision to tweet this, right? It's not like we just randomly were like watching his stream innocently and he just is chilling and we're just like, you know what, Tipster, you're cringe. No, that's not how this went, right? Tipster tweeted multiple times. I mean, there's multiple of the tweets. I don't have them on me right now. At an animal, at other e-girls, flirting with them, you know, sending eye emojis to them, you know, with the side eye, you know what I mean? He did this all the time. This was a thing he constantly did. Um, humiliated himself on the internet for attention from women uh, as a 35-year-old man. Um, so that's kind of what started it all, right? So just remember that. Keep that in mind, okay? This has been a thing, an ongoing thing for a little while. This isn't just some new thing. And this isn't just, this was completely brought upon Tipster <laughs> by himself. I mean, he did it himself. So that was back in October. Um, and this was, uh, it started when he was simming for Taddy C. You know what? I actually forgot about that. That's funny you point that out. If you guys know Taddy C, 
the crazy woman who Augie banished from his community. Tipster was sipping for her too. I totally forgot. You, that is a great point. I'm glad I have the chat. I'm glad I'm live streaming this because that is very true. Tipster also sent for Taddy C. So, I mean, it's just, it's embarrassing. It's very, very embarrassing. It's humiliating, right? But he did it himself. He wanted to be embarrassed and humiliated, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> wow. But anyway, let's transition from that topic. I've got another topic for you guys, okay? We're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about Tipster's channel. Now, Tipster's channel, as you guys know, he recently removed all of his commentary videos. He deleted millions of views worth of commentary videos off of his channel. Um, I guess by his own accord, I don't know why he would do that, but that's what he did. And so, uh, in every single way, oh, excuse me, my mouse is, uh, in every single way, Tipster's channel is completely dying. Um, his online reputation and his YouTube legacy is dead. It's gone in the water. Um, it's not coming back. And I'll tell you why I believe that. Um, let's show you his social blade. Let me show you guys his social blade. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Let's look at Tipster's social blade. And now I'm not gonna say like my channel's popping. I'm sure my social blade's dead too, but I don't make YouTube videos. So I don't stream. This guy streams, right? But here's the social blade, okay? This was obviously just ignore the views. We don't have to look at the views because that's just deleted videos. So I mean obviously it's gonna be in the negative millions. I mean he deleted millions of views worth of videos. But here's his subscriber count. Every day, Tipster loses about 30 subs every single day 30 people will go to his channel go to his live streams see what he's doing and unsubscribe from him and i don't blame them i've got some content about his live streams for you guys in a minute 30 people will unsubscribe from his channel every single day every week 230 people will unsubscribe from his channel and in the last week month he has lost 1000 subscribers in the last month his um <laughs> his channel is so dead in fact that social blade predicts in the next year that he will gain negative 12,000 subs he will gain negative 12,000 subs over the next year that is what social blade predicts their bot, their automated bot, realizes how dead his channel is, and how it's dying in the water. Um, so, and I mean, I, I can't, I can't blame them, you know. I have something, you know, that that kind of perfectly summarizes this up. Okay, I have a clip for you guys. Um, speaking, uh, speaking, what I said earlier, I have a great, I have a great clip for you guys. Okay, so, and this is hilarious to me. Um, when was the day? I think it was about a month ago, maybe a little over a month ago. Augie was doing after hours. He was speaking about drama. You know, he was doing his thing. And all of a sudden, uh, Tipster was live at the same time. And Keemstar joined the call. Keemstar joined the call of Tipster's stream. And I cut it kind of halfway through the call. I mean, they spoke just a little bit before. But we're going to watch this call. Okay? So we're going to watch this call. I believe this is a timestamp, but I'm just gonna make sure this is correct. So we're gonna watch this call here. So Keemstar is in call right now with um, with Tipster, and we are going to watch this right now. Okay, ready? Here we go, this is the clip. Listen up. So what's going on, Keem? How you doing? Nothing, I'm no longer sick, and I'm ready to come back. You gonna cover Quantum TV, dude? Yeah, I'm going to bury him alive. Hell yeah, dude. Hashtag drama alert, baby. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Dude, that dude's a fucking... He's a, he's a weird one. He's one of those... He kind of reminds me of, of Susie Lou in the sense that he doesn't know when to stop. Like, he could have easily, like, just shut his mouth and... 
this would have died down by now, but he just keeps doing dumb shit. Did you see what he did to that Act Man guy? No. He, he went after his. He called, he his, called mom his mom. Or something. He like snitched this guy out to his mom. He's make so. Before we continue, to me, if I was just tuning into the stream, this looks like a drama live stream, right? Tipster knows the lore of Quantum TV, an active drama situation. He is currently commenting on the drama situation, telling Keemstar things that Keemstar didn't even know about about the situation. He says, "Do you know about this guy?" And Keem says, "No." And Tipster says, "Well, this is what happened. This happened. This happened." So for anyone tuning in, this looks like a normal drama, you know, drama live stream. But just keep watching, right? Let's just keep watching. Making fun of me on the internet. That's hilarious. Dude, this is the cringiest motherfucker I've ever seen. Holy shit. Called someone's mom over internet drama. Fuck you, Death Water. I don't sound sick. You sound sick, fucking creep. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, was it? It was the coof, right? You got the coof? I had COVID. Yeah. Just wait a second, boys. Wait a second. Um, I got it pretty bad in December, and, like, that shit sidelined me for, like, a month. Because even when I got over the actual COVID symptoms, I had a lingering cough for a solid month, so I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that shit sucks. I guess Nick has on? it now. I don't really follow the drama stuff all that much anymore, so I don't know. I just know about Quantum... Mm -hmm. There's what the, do you mean uh, you don't follow? What do you mean you don't follow the drama stuff? You literally run a show on that. Uh, have you been gone, Keem? I don't. I don't do that shit anymore. I just why? Stream. I just stream now because that's what I want to do. I got bored. It was yeah, time well, for a change. You have, you have no viewers. Uh, <laughs> what? Keem, BTFO's tipster immediately, instantaneously. He, Keem doesn't even give tipster a second to explain himself. He immediately tells Sipster you have no viewers, but it's not over yet. It's not, it's not over yet. The, the kneeling is not even close to finished. Let's keep watching. Fine, dude. I, I, this isn't a job for me. It's just something I do for fun after work. And, 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 all right, everybody have seen you play this fucking Donkey Kong bullshit. Like, dude, don't you have a new game? Dude, this game is amazing, okay? I could play this like a million times and never get bored of it. <laughs> Another just absolute just btfo on tipster you play this game all the time nobody cares and it's true for the past month if i've ever clicked on a tipster stream if i've ever been so you know brainstakingly bored that i will just be sitting there drooling for some reason and nothing is going on on the internet and tipster's live i mean i guess that's is it better than nothing i don't know maybe i click on the stream this is what he's playing keem is completely right <laughs> Keemstar is 100% accurate. You play this Donkey Kong game. <laughs> he does not stop. He does not care. I mean, he just completely obliterated him. <laughs> I've never played it. <laughs> You've never That's played it? You should. Stupid. You should. Nah, dude, this game is fantastic. It's no di Okay, it's no different than, like, people who, like, I don't know, play League of Legends on every stream or Fortnite, dude. It's just... I'm, I'm an old fart, so I play, like, old people games. I well, here's the thing. He tries to cope. I mean, you can tell he's coping almost immediately. He's coping about Keemstar completely BTFOing him. Um, and he tries to cope and say, oh, it's, uh, it's because um, it's just like when people play League or Fortnite. Well, here's the thing about League, Fortnite, Valorant, anyone who one-tricks a game. Those games have incredible replayability to the point where every game is unique and different. The only people who do what you're doing, you know, over here, over here, and play the same game every stream, the only people who do that are speedrunners. And by no means are you speedrunning this game. By no means. I mean, you die every minute. So this isn't, you know, a game with replayability. This isn't a game where you're speedrunning. You're not trying to 100% it. There is no entertainment value in this. It is purely, I mean, so you need to, can't, you can't bring up League of Legends and Fortnite and Valorant and these kind of games when they have high replayability. This game does not have that. You're coping. All right, let's keep watching though. I think it's about to end. I know, but there was there was a ton of games that came out for this system. Why play this one over and because over? Because this one is the best game on the Super Nintendo, hands down, dude. 
He's coping. Is this I mean, there are many other games on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, like Super Mario World, Mario Kart, Yoshi's Island, Zelda Link to the Past. There's a ton of great games mm -hmm. on the Super Nintendo. Mario All-Stars with a remake of Mario 3, yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. Like, there's so much shit. Like, why, are, why do you play this over and over again? Because it's just so fun, dude. You know, everybody has, like, there's one or two games from their childhood that they could just go back to over and over again. And this is one of them for me. Yeah, what you gotta do is like learn how to like ace it 100%. See, even Peaches, Hopeless Peaches, who's on call with Tipster, is desperately trying to help him, you know, improve his content. She's desperately giving him suggestions on how you can make your stream more entertaining. Maybe you should try to ace it 100%. Mm -hmm. Tipster, I mean, he just brushes this off. He doesn't say anything about it, really. He doesn't try. He doesn't try to ace it 100%. He would rather just brainlessly play it. I mean, this is the content that you are being provided if you are subscribed to Tipster. This is why 33 people every single day unsubscribe from his channel. Every single day. Um, right now, I have more viewers in my first stream back than he averages now. Genuinely. I tuned into his stream the other day. He had 25 viewers. 25 viewers. Um, so Peaches kneels on him. And let's just keep watching. Yeah, for sure. Who is this girl talking to me? This is Hopeless Peaches. You don't know Hopeless Peaches? No. no. Dude, it's Hopeless Peaches. Come on, dude. <laughs> you, if you don't know Hopeless Peaches, then you just don't know anything, dude. To be fair, though, if you didn't you know anything about the art commentary community, that'd be a bit cringe, so... Yeah, that's You fair. sound like a 10-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can assure you she's not a 10-year-old. Keep that in mind, the way he said that. I mean, I don't know if you guys caught that. That was a little bit weird. I can assure you, she's not a 10-year-old. I can assure you of that. Keep in mind the way he said that, because I've got some great clips for you guys in, in a minute. I mean, just just wait. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not covering any drama, then what are you doing? I just kind of stream, dude. I just play video games. I just fucking... <laughs> Uh, I'm a bit of a react Andy these days um, Just whatever I feel like any I just kind of stream dude Shit What can I expect when I watch your content shit? I mean, I just kind of stream bro shit <laughs> Do you what do you like? What do you just <laughs> shit bro? I just play games. I don't know shit. Do you talk you, you play like a certain game? Are you a speedrunner? I mean, I, this is just what am I watching who's tuning into this and enjoying this? Is there anyone who genuinely does this besides the e-girls? You know, the 30-year-old the woman who need, uh, need attention. Is there anyone who's actually watching this? Uh, my screen is, my, my camera's blocking, but his chat is dead. I mean, his chat is completely dead. His chat has moved like one time in the past, in an entire clip. Nobody's watching, nobody cares. Um, so, I don't know. Given day on my stream. Reacting to what? YouTube videos, mostly. Is Augie doing a show? Yeah, he's still. I think he's doing after hours tonight. I'm surprised you're over here. I, I'm, I would think you'd be over there. Oh, he's he live. I'm, I'm going on his show. All right, peace out, dude. <laughs> so, tips are completely cucked as well by Augie. He gets the Keemster call. Keemster sees Tipster live and decides to call him. What, do you guys think that Keemster will ever call into a Tipster stream again after this? Genuine question. Do you think any YouTuber of note is ever going to call into a Tipster live stream again after seeing this? Tipster completely cucked and BTFO'd. And, and I'm not going to lie, I mean, Keemstar isn't like something super crazy getting a Keemstar call in. I mean, he calls into a lot of shows. He's kind of desperate to call in a show sometimes. But usually when he does, you can make some sort of content out of it. You can kind of, you know, mess with him a little bit or kind of talk about something with him. He kind of makes content. I mean, he, the, he's done it for 10 years. He knows how to make content. Yet somehow when Tipster gets the Keemstar call in, he manages to cope and completely embarrass himself live on stream. Um, so I don't know how that's possible, but that's what he did. So he completely embarrassed himself. Um, <laughs> just live. And 
Speaking of his dead channel, I have something fun to show you. Um, this is his uh, YouTube. He made the same post that he did on Twitter, but he made it on his YouTube page. Uh, he said the same thing, stepping away from the net for a bit with the same picture of the anime guy crying. And then, hilariously, his audience completely shut on him. And I don't even recognize these names. It's not like these are commentary and tarred names that like are in my chat right now shitting on Tipster. Here are people replying to Tipster after he made this tweet. The Hydromaniac says, did someone make fun of you again? And this guy says, probably because your channel Just is dead as stream and getting ready for a live show. I'll be sure to catch the VOD. Have a good thank stream. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for the three. Bring back chess tourneys. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Probably because your channel is dead as F. So Tom Richards, this guy's probably a boomer. I mean, this guy, Tom Richards, really? With this profile picture? This guy seems like a boomer. Even the boomer, the boomers of, t of t Tipster's community are BTFOing him. The boomers of his community are tired of his shit. It's not just tards anymore. It's over. I mean, it's over. The channel is dead. So not only is he losing uh, followers and subs every single day, but just now before my stream, he completely killed his Twitter account. I don't know if you guys saw this. This is breaking news. He completely annihilated his Twitter account. Here's his Twitter account as of an hour ago. This is his main Twitter account. He had 11,000 followers over 11,000 followers. And he either used a program or manually unfollowed all of them. Every single person following him because of getting clowned on? Clowned on? I don't know. So if he has another account, I'd love to see it. But he had two accounts, to my knowledge. One of them is blacked out with zero followers in this one. So if someone has another account, I'd love to see it. But this is what I've seen. I just got this information. So if there's more, if there's more to it, I don't have that information yet. So someone can show me that. But this is what I saw right before I went live. So that might not be correct. I'll, t I'll take it. But so, <laughs> and now, I have another clip from this stream, this Hopeless Peaches stream, that is just terrible, okay? It's just terrible. So we're going to be talking now about him flirting with women and his relationship with women on the internet, okay? Um, so let's watch this clip real quick. Um, this is a very cringe, very cringe uh, clip he was creeping on Stardust debate last night, uh, on, on Stardust on the debate last night. I haven't seen that. If someone, if you send that to me and I watch it, I'll, I'll watch it after, after my stream of content. I'll, I'll see. But here's the clip. Let me get this open on stream real quick. So Tipster brings on, yeah. Tipster brings on two e-girls. He has Hopeless Peaches and someone else, so I don't know who it is, to be honest. But he brings on two girls. And the girls are talking about how they've been drinking a little bit. They're kind of having a little bit of fun. They're having a good time. You know, they're just being friendly. I mean, it's just, you know, they're adult women. There's nothing wrong. I mean, they're just being normal. This is how women are. I mean, let's just be real. It's how women are. But let's just watch this clip, okay? Here we go. Um, yeah, it well, could be the fact that, like, I stopped drinking last month. And this mm. is, like, my first bit of alcohol since. Mm. So... Yeah, maybe. It's feeling pretty <clears throat> nice. Pretty nice. Sweet. Yeah, and I'm just a lightweight, so it's easy. <laughs> Yo, so when's uh, the art collab happening with Psych? I don't know. I got to get in touch with Psych. <gasps> Is it going to be... Because cause you do, you do like, NSFW stuff. So is your guys' collab going to be NSFW? I Excuse me? Why? Do you hear the way he asked that? <laughs> why? Tipster, why? <laughs> why would you ask that? <laughs> why would you ask that? <laughs> he said that like he was getting a boner during the middle of his question. So, 
I know you do NSFW stuff. Is y'all collab going to be NSFW? <laughs> Bro, you're married. Chill. This is a married man. I mean, how embarrassing is this? Once again, who is watching this? Who is unironically watching this? Do people tune into the stream and watch this man flirt with these women? Hopeless, hopeless peaches? I mean, the only thing hopeless here is Tipster's attempt at flirting. It is pathetic. It is genuinely pathetic. But let's just keep watching, okay? Let's watch. I fucking hope so. I've seen some NSFW from Psych, and uh, yeah, she does good work. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, uh, ah, uh, God. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you guys watching this? Just why? This man. The woman, I mean, okay, the women are being women. They're, they're, you know, I mean, whatever. Come on. This is how they all are. But tipster dude, really? I mean, this is just horrific. This is just horrible. <laughs> On the live stream, too, in front of everybody. Well, everybody is in like 30 people, but in front of everybody. He's doing this. <laughs> Why did he say that live? I don't know. So apparently Tipster has seen Sykes NSFW artwork and he really liked it. He really, really enjoyed it. So much so that he wanted to bring it up on live stream in front of these women and ask them if they're going to draw porn so he could consume the porn. He really loved that pornography that Syke drew and he wanted more. So he was asking his female friends about it. Um, I mean, it's just embarrassing. It's just very embarrassing <laughs> for anyone watching. I think it, uh, let me see if it goes on. Yeah, anymore. do the, uh, do. Oh yeah. Oh, this is really bad. Keep, let's keep watching. Do a, a live <laughs> rendition of one of the things you did for me. Oh no. Do a live. Uh, okay. Just watch, just watch. Just whatever what? one you want. I guess. Thank for the money, you fucking simp. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it so much. Everybody Duh. loves it. Everybody Duh. Loves it. terrifying. Duh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Why? Why? I just, this is all uncomfortable to watch. This is just terrible. <laughs> I love it so much. I just love it so much. I had to almost pause it because I just could not take it. I mean, you can hear his penis erecting underneath the webcam. You can see it. It's practically popping up. If it wasn't so small, you would see it on stream. This is just, I mean, <laughs> this is humiliating. This is humiliating. He loves it so much. I mean, <laughs> this is just why. <laughs> so, I mean, this is just terrible. This is just terrible. Um. <laughs> So that's a great clip for you guys. That's just an amazing clip. Um, but it's not over yet. I still got more to do. Oops, excuse me. I still got more to do. It's not quite over yet. <laughs> we have more clips for you guys, more clips. Let me find where we're at. Let me find where we're at. So I have two things I wanna talk about. First, I would like to talk about how he doesn't really talk to his wife. So another thing about Tipster is that he spends an inordinate amount of time on Discord calls with other women. Um, Discord calls that uh, are just, I mean, it'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. He'll spend hours and hours and hours on calls with women alone as well, not on stream. And usually it is when he is having a meltdown or having a hard time. Um, and what I'm curious about is why you're not talking to your wife. So I have one example here, and this is showing uh, this woman by the name of Liana Taylor. So she posts a picture of herself at around, like I think this is about seven in the morning. It's very early in the morning. She posts four selfies of herself, including one where she was very exhausted. Very, very exhausted. It looks like she's had a very long night. You can see the bags under her eyes as if she's had a very long and stressful night talking. And Tipster replies to her, you look so tired in that last pic. 
Get some sleep, homie. And thanks for the chat earlier. Appreciate it. Heart. For some context, this is the next morning after Tipster had a meltdown and deactivated his Twitter account. So the only conclusion I can see here is that Liana Taylor and Tipster spent all night talking to each other, so much so that Liana was exhausted with the bags under her eyes. And Tipster was thanking her for that chat, thanking her for the long late night chat, helping him out through his tough time. You have a wife, Tipster. Why do, you, why do you talk to these women like this? And this isn't the only example of this. He's done this multiple times before. He has done this multiple times before. I don't have the screenshots of it, but you can tell he's called Hannah Animal for hours on end. He's called other e-girls in his community for hours on end. He will sit in private calls with them. He will tweet about how much he's happy that he's talking to these women. <laughs> so this is the conclusion that I come to. You guys can come to your own, but that's how I see it. <laughs> so that's, that's that. That's him calling her for hours on end. And Hannah knows this. We all know this. They'll deny it, but they know it. It's true. It's very true. So another situation of someone who he's speaking to a lot, not just this girl, Someone who's speaking to a lot, I have another example, is the woman who uh, was on a stream with Bo Blacks the other day. Let's watch it. Let's watch this clip. You guys know this clip? It was a, it was a uh, Twitter feud that I had with a crazy woman by the name of AP something. I don't know what her name is, AP something. But it is a Bo Blacks clip, and we're going to watch this real quick. And I have an update to the story that you guys might not have seen. So let's just watch, okay? Let's open this clip up. Um, let's see here, let me get this open. All right. Here we go. This is the Boblax live stream. Yo, what up? Oh. Hold up. Hey, yo, what the fuck? He just dipped! Horse shit! He's gone. It's just you. You don't have Tipster to defend you. Yo, why are you so be, being so aggro, though? Why am I so aggro? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because fucking... I know, like, y'all always think it's fucking dumb, but I have a small following on tiktok compared to you i guess but... okay why are we bringing up followings know, just, what does tipster been online have... for a while okay what does that have to do with anything i don't know i feel i feel i feel like you kind of flex it are you not flexing it how am i flexing it oh, God. In indicate to me where it's being Delete flexed Bo blacks on discord what the f oh debate are you recording this we're on stream yeah Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Sorry, sorry. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm new to live streaming, guys. Give me a break. So within one minute of conversing, I'm back. Within one minute of conversing, this girl is told that they are live on air. She asked him. It's not said in passing, by the way. It's not said in passing. She is told live on air that they are live. And she says, oh, okay within less than 60 seconds of their conversation. And now I'm not going to watch the entire, it's 20 minutes. Um, the real truth is like they argue back and forth. The woman is completely confused and drunk. She has no idea what she's saying. Just completely embarrassing herself publicly after she was the one who picked a fight. She was the one who started shit with Boblox. I mean, it's just absolute mental behavior. It's just pathetic. 
Um, but literally she knows she's live within 60 seconds and it's not said in passing. It's asked, asked directly. It's asked directly. Are you recording? No, I'm live. Oh, okay. So she is aware. She is perfectly aware that this is what's going on. But, and like I said, I'm not going to watch out watch the whole thing, but this is where it gets to tipster. Okay. What does this have to do with tipster? We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Okay. Let's open up the, uh, let's open up the, uh, little thing real quick. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. Um, so of course, let me just show you just a little bit of context before I show just, just a little bit. Of course, she's the one who picked the fight. She says anyone who's close to him knows that because Bobex tweeted out about, you know, deleting all his videos. You guys might've seen this if you haven't, it's, it's simple. She picked a fight with Bobex. He clapped back on her, whatever. They went on live stream. Then tipster, oh, let me picture, let me make sure I have the uh, correct screenshot here. Oh, I believe this is it. The next morning, or maybe this is a few hours later apologize he apologized to the woman and this is what he said i wanted to take a moment to apologize to both at ap and at boblax for what happened last night the whole thing was a big misunderstanding that led to a huge mess also i apologize to ap for not making sure it clear it was clear that boblax was live i assumed she knew and that was my mistake Excuse me, did we not just watch the same clip where within literally 60 seconds she is made aware that they are live on air? Do we not just watch that same clip? And yet somehow she tells Tipster, you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong for not letting me know that I, it was live. This is terrible. Sounds like she's coping that she got embarrassed and humiliated, right? Sounds like she's coping. So... And Tipster takes the blame, I guess. He takes the fall for the crazy drunk woman. And then he says in the second tweet, I'm going to take a few days offline. After last night, I just need a few days to myself to decompress. But before I logged off, I just wanted to say, I am sorry to everyone involved what happened last night. I'm truly sorry. First of all, this has nothing to do with you, Tipster. But somehow he's told by this woman that he should take the blame and he just publicly cucks himself she grabs him by the balls by his small small balls and tells him to tweet this tells him to apologize and he does it i mean what can you say about that what can you really say and i have a theory this isn't a this isn't a anything verifiable this is purely speculation this is purely speculation so before people sparg and cope and mauls in the chat, but there's no proof of this. Um, AP loves to go around spouting and saying how much happier she was after she deleted her TikTok, her TikTok account with 50,000 followers. She loves saying that. All of a sudden, after Tipster started speaking with this woman, which is, he's been speaking to her for a little while now, all of a sudden he deletes he deletes all of his tweets all of his videos excuse me he deletes all of his videos and he leaves commentary a little bit suspect do you think he was influenced into that decision i don't know that is purely speculation i have no proof of it but i think it might have been a little bit of influence that's just an assumption so um yeah Anyway, all right, so <laughs> I have something to show you guys. Let me show you something real quick. So of course he says he's gonna take a few days off and <laughs> what? <laughs> this isn't the really on a trailer in the chat. This isn't the real one, there's no way. Anyway, um, of course he says he's gonna take a few days uh, off and this is what he posted the next day after he said he's gonna take a few days off. This, to me, this was hilarious. I thought this was really funny. He tweeted, the next day, he said, tried some of that Delta 8 last night that at Repsion has been promoting for Advanced Global lately, and holy shit, that shit's strong. <laughs> so within less than 24 hours, he's back on Twitter, tweeting about weed and getting fucked up and stoned degenerating his mind within less than 24 hours <laughs> he's already back 
I just thought that was funny. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> it's like, I mean, come on. <laughs> just wow. Oh, man. <laughs> so that's what he's been up to. Um, that's what he was up to immediately after he tweeted that. Uh, and so, yeah, I have one more clip for you guys. One final clip to, 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 to cap this all off. One final clip. Um, and it is about him speaking about his wife on stream. Another, another great clip, another great moment. Um, this is the final clip before I will end the stream. So you're going you're gonna to want to watch this. Uh, let me open this up here. Hey, I won't go into the new. Hey, I mean, li before you guys are hating on me in the chat. Listen, I, I partake in a little bit too, but it's just funny to me. I just thought the, I just thought the timing was funny. I just thought it was hilarious. Anyway, let's watch this clip. Him speaking about his wife. Okay. Um, here we go. All right. Ready? This is him speaking about his wife. Okay. Nitty gritty details because nobody wants to hear that, and I'm sure my wife wouldn't oh, like yeah, to share we'll, everything. We'll, but what I will, well, what I will say is this: this is an example I've given before, and I don't know how you feel about like trigger words, so I'll censor them for you. Um, there have been, there have been scenarios where both me and my wife to each other have said, "I'm going to R word you," and the uh -huh. other person responded with, "You can't R word the willing." Okay, so like those are like <laughs> intimate interactions that me and my wife have had with. Each each other and so when i look at these ones i'm like uh jesus christ jesus christ come on i mean come on oh my god that is just terrible uh, i mean that is just cringe <laughs> the thing is okay why would you say this though that's the thing why would you publicly say this this is just embarrassing. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> stop saying this in stream. That's my point. You don't say this publicly on stream. You should not do that. This is just embarrassing. But anyway, that's the final clip I got for you guys. Let me just double check that I don't have any more things in my thing that I wanted to go over. Um, I think that that's it. I think that that's You're it. my favorite trans RFC member. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I think that that's it. But, oh, man. <laughs> Dude, Liana, Liana, if that's the real Liana in chat, I mean, this is just more examples of the type of woman that Tipster picks. I mean, he picks Taddy C. He picks Liana Taylor. Uh, he picks AP these three women I mean there's multiple examples of the type of woman that he surrounds himself with but I mean are you guys witnessing this too I mean come on I get that I'm a little provocative I get that I'm being a little edgy saying things that are a little bit you know a little bit silly just for entertainment but I did not expect this to come into the chat <laughs> I mean Jesus Christ this is funny oh it's so funny so anyway, boys, I think that's really all I got. Uh, that's like the first major Spurg Stomper. We have a lot of women in the chat and a lot of tipster viewers, I think, coping and molding and Spurging in the chat, uh, saying, you know, things like Liana is. Uh, so that's the situation. E-girls are seething right now. Tipster BTFO'd. Um, completely felted. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it. That's it for me. Um, I don't know. Should I take callers? I don't know if I have really any, any, anyone who wants to call in anyway. I don't, I don't know if I want to take anyone to call because, uh, I think that that was pretty much all I want to go over and I covered everything. So do I have a neck beard? Yes, I do have a neck beard. I do indeed. This is my neck beard. Connor's tips was trick tonight. Very true. So I'll talk to chat for about five minutes. I'll take any questions. If anyone has any questions, it's been a great hour. It's been a great hour of amazing content. So 
if anyone has any questions about Tipster in particular, um, then I will answer them. So we have a lot of copers in the chat. People begging, on, people are begging on their knees. Please, Augie, help. Please help. Tipster is getting humiliated live on air. Someone is saying things about him that's mean and, my, and, and it's, it's so wrong. They're laughing at him. Augie, please control him. Please keep him in line. The absolute state of copers. I mean, what can you do, right? What can you do? So Tipster says Copen, that's cringe, and you say Copen, that's okay. I never said it was cringe. I said that when he said people unfollow me and they can cope about it, that that opened me up to shit all over him. And if he wants to shit all over me, I'm all ears. The thing is, the difference between me and Tipster is my balls are way larger. I have a lot, you know, more testosterone, which, you know, look at me. Me having more testosterone than someone? I mean, come on. Really? When you're BTFO'd by me, you know it's bad. So that's the difference. That's the difference. So. <laughs> <laughs> As Augie's knocking at my door. He's, be he, he's begging. He's begging me to stop. Okay, guys. Thank you to that guy in chat. I will stop. I'm so sorry. Is this what you really expected? I mean, who says stuff like that? <laughs> what the hell, you live together? Yes, we live together. I mean, this is proof that you guys don't know what, these Spurgs who are coping and mauling and spurging in chat don't even know what's going on. They don't even know what's happening. They just come in and maul. So. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny. That is funny. Take the router out. Sorry, but the router's in my room. I got the router. No one is turning my screen off. My stream off. It's all up to me. It's over in my closet. Sorry. So anyway, I'm just clowning. It's just all a clown. It's just a meme. I, you know, if Tipster wanted to try to revive his channel and actually make good content, he can go for it. Why not? The thing is, he doesn't. And I'm clowning on him. And if you want to cope and maul and spurg about that, you can. Just got swatted live on air. Yes, I just got swatted by Augie. I just did. I just got swatted by Augie. So. <laughs> um, anyway, boys, I, I, think, I, I think I'm going to end it. I think I'm going to end it. This was a fun stream. It was a good hour. Good hour of juicy, special content. The VOD will be up. You're free to watch it anytime you want. You can criticize me however you'd like. You can make videos about it. All you tipster, orbiting woman can cope and mauled and spurg on Twitter. I love it. I follow it. It's great. So please, I beg of you, do it. I'm begging on my knees. <laughs> you can shit talk me. I mean, I don't care. It doesn't affect me. That's the difference. Anyway, boys, <laughs> it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day. We did a thing. And I think that's going to be it. So, GG, peace out. And uh, Spurg Stomper number one in the books. Uh, yeah. Anyway, boys, see ya. <laughs>